Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of uh, Football Digest, the show that takes a look at what's transpiring on the local, regional and international football landscape. I'm Francis Nyamtamba, standing in for Yvonne Mangunda. And as usual on the show, we're joined by former Caps United, former Sundowns, former Bidvest Vits, former Blackpool. <laughs> So many teams, <laughs> and so many teams. I would, I, I, I would need uh, a, a pretty long time uh, <laughs> to, uh, to go through the entire uh, number of teams. Okay, okay without forgetting me, Darren T. Without okay, let me let me, let me count them for you. Uh, I started with Darren T. Uh, then uh, I played for 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 Blackpool. Uh, in between, it was uh, Pogon Stechin in Poland, Slovakia, Slovan Bratislava. Then I came back. I played for. For for Caps United after Blackpool, and then I went to South Africa for Qua Qua Stars. It was two Free State Stars. Then from Free State Stars, I moved to Beat Best Bets, then Beat Best Bets to Sundowns, then Jomo Cosmos. Then I ended my career with FCA Cape. Wow, <laughs> quite an illustrious uh, career <laughs> that you had, um, having yeah. the opportunity of um, traveling beyond the country's borders and mm -hmm. maybe just uh, zeroing in on the domestic uh, premiership uh, where FC Platinum are uh, world crowned uh, uh, champions. Okay, th they haven't been uh, officially been handed with the silver away, but um, mathematically they are champions. Um, uh, your thoughts about uh, FC Platinum season? Yeah, um, they are champions. You know, I was also I was surprised that they were not handed their trophy uh, when they played against Cape United. Probably they want to do it when they play at home. You know, it's 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 more befitting uh, to receive your your championship trophy when you're playing your home game. You know, in front of your own fans. So probably they'll get their trophy uh, in the next round of matches, which day thirty two, I should say. Uh, well, congratulations to them once again. Uh, congratulations to. Norman Mapeza as well. It's, it didn't start well. You know, they had a reshuffle of their playing staff and when they recruited a few younger players and discarded the older players, there were a lot of uh, negativity, uh, not just coming from the outside, even from the inside. There were some people, even from the inside, who didn't believe uh, that uh, this project was going to be a, the fruit that is, it has now. I still think that including some members of their own technical staff, they were not so sure about the project and uh, some were not even happy that uh, the club was discarding some of the more experienced players. But for me, I think that was the way to go, you know, because they guaranteed uh, success and they guaranteed a future of the club. Because when you look at this club, this squad that they've got right now, they're champions this year and they are still young. A lot of the players are still young and they can only get better. So you can imagine when once they get better, they will be a better team, better, better, better players, and obviously with the cohesion that they have formulated now, they will be more dangerous than this season. So the other teams really need to work flat out to catch up uh, with, uh, with the. Interestingly, like Alois, um, uh, after the game against Caps United on Sunday, uh, Norman Mapes was actually taunting the media for for having a uh, written uh, FC Platinum off following that uh, sluggish start to the season. Uh, I heard about it. Uh, I we spoke about it. Some, it's something that we discussed. Uh, I think, uh, to be honest, you no know, matter, a very good friend of mine, a very knowledgeable coach. But I think this time around, he was unfair, uh, to, to to say the least. Because journalists and analysts in general, they look at what is uh, currently happening. You know what is uh, transpiring at that particular moment. That's what they comment about. They project. They look at the future passing on what is currently prevailing. So what was happening at FC Platinum, there was disharmony, even in their own camp, when the older experienced players were discarded and they, were, they brought in the young players. Some were not confident enough, they didn't try, they didn't believe that the youngsters were ready to tackle the... Some were content, they were thinking that uh, maybe if we can just maintain our premium, our status this season so that they can grow. But these boys grew faster. I think they even surprised their own team. You know, uh, to be honest, if no man is to be honest with himself, he, will tell, he is the first one who should say that he was also surprised by the quick progress of this, of, of this team. Because at the beginning of the season, they were not doing well, honestly. And uh, you could actually see by his body language himself, no man, himself, his body language, he was not a happy man at the beginning. But when, when things started clicking, it started happening. You, 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 you don't begrudge analysts for looking at a, at a bad patch 
and projecting something that is not positive. But when they realized that FC Platinum were now uh, hitting top form and clicking, they changed. They, they, analysts are allowed That's to That's exactly what he analysts, said. Analysts, you guys have now changed. Of, they, are of what. they are allowed. They are allowed. They are allowed. It's like Liverpool today. Liverpool. If anybody asked you if Liverpool is going to win the league today, I would like ah, Zinzagaomira. Liverpool are going at the at the moment. But who who am I to stop them from from rejuvenating in the second half of the season? And I see ah, Liverpool are back. You know. Remember the other time when Liverpool were like 18 points behind Man City. They clawed their way back. But at the point when they were 18 points behind, who would say that they will, they will finish uh, one point behind Manchester City in the league in the end? Nobody. So this is what, we, what was happening. They were not doing well. What was it? They, I think they were like number 11, 12 at some point on, on, the, on the log. So when people now say that ah, they don't see FC Platinum uh, retaining their league this season, they were looking at what was prevailing. At that particular moment, what had happened in the club during the preseason, the morale in the camp, and what was prevailing, that's what they were looking to using to project the results for the end of the year. But if they started clicking and started doing well, the progress was fast, yeah, they're within their rights. The analysts are within their rights to actually say, ah, guys, perfect, position, you just put it again. FC Blenheim, it's normal. But you can't then begrudge people for not believing in your squad at the beginning when you were faltering. No, they were faltering at the beginning of the season and because they had changed their squad and they didn't give belief to the people. Like I said, even in their own camp, in the FC Platinum camp, there were a lot of other guys who, were, who didn't believe in the project that they will win this league this season. You know, So I think he was being unfair on, in, uh, in hammering the, the media and analysts for thinking that they might not. You know, This is their job. That's, that's what they're paid to do. They, he does his job at, 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 at FC Platinum and the media and analysts, they also do their job. They are paid to discuss these things. You get, you, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be like uh, a crazy, a crazy uh, analyst to say that Liverpool will win the league this season. I think you'll be crazy. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be look, we'll look at you and like, Looking at are you, are you crazy? Yeah. yeah, but then if they change their season, if things start happening, an analyst can say, ah, but they've now improved. Ah, the cohesion is back. The players that were injured, they are now back. The team is now playing better football. Ah, I think they can claw their way back. That's what they do. But until they show those signs of clawing back, it would be crazy to say that they will win the league. No. I was just talking about uh, FC Platinum's game on Sunday. They were leading 2-0. At the end of the, the, uh, the day, Captain United showing some character bouncing back from 2-0 down and... Uh, managing to salvage a point. Uh, your thoughts about uh, uh, the performance by Caps United? Uh, to be honest, I think 75% uh, of the match FC Platinum were on top of, uh, of the situation. I don't know what, what, what happened that they put their foot off the pedal. I think Caps United dominated for as little as like 15 minutes. And in that 15 minutes, they were efficient. They managed to grab those two goals in that, in that, uh, in that, in that 15 minutes. But to be honest, I don't think that they matched uh, FC Platinum. When you look at the entire at the entire match, but those 15 minutes, yes, they were blistering. And it, it's it it um, at some point, I actually thought, you know what? Because these guys, they know that the season is coming to an end, and they need to put up a show. Because now they are losing 2-0 to FC Platinum. Things are not happening in their camp. What what is the future uh, for them at Caps United? You know, maybe some something just clicked in their head that guys. You know what? We are playing with our future here because some of them will have to play for contracts for next season. I don't think most of the players will be at Caps United next season. Honestly speaking, I don't think so. So this is the time for them to actually show up and start playing so that other clubs are watching. They can, they can snatch them. There's Simba who has just been promoted. You know, most of most Premier, uh, the, the promoted teams will be looking for players to, to, to recruit into the Premier League as well. So these players are better, better perform. So probably something clicked in their head that, you know what, guys, we need to perform here. Otherwise, we'll play for our lives and our contracts for next season. So they played. But, but I wouldn't put it to, um, to a trajectory to, to actually like a, a litmus to show that Caps United are on the rise and next year there will be uh, a formidable side. Because I don't think most of the players will get Caps United next season. So I think these players are playing for their future and they're playing for their lives. Let's talk a bit about William Manondo. Stuck on 15 goals, um, one point in time. Uh, many were, were betting that uh, uh, Manondo would reach the 20-goal mark. But now it seems as though the goals have dried down. 
what do you think um, is happening with them? There's also talk about uh, the possibility of Walter Masumusona catching up to him currently on 12 goals now. Now, I think it's the issue of inconsistency. You know, it's, it's, it's right through the, the whole league. You, we don't have consistent performance in the league, not just in one season. You know, inconsistency even over a period of five years. Look at, uh, at here, William Anondo, where was he last year? Two years ago, three years ago, after he, he was on the calendar the other year. You know, uh, who, who were the, the 11 soccer stars of the year last season? Where are they now? You know, the, the inconsistency is just way, way uh, too much uh, for, for us, uh, the fans, to actually uh, endure. Because these guys, they don't, I don't know what is really wrong. People may say economy, but my friend, uh, you don't need economy to, to play football, to, 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 to perform as an, indiv as an individual. Guys, guys, if you want to be a good player yourself, you cannot say I'm not going to perform because I wasn't paid last season. When you know that your, your livelihood depends on that performance, you know there are opportunities. Zimbabwe football is like a platform for better things. You know this is a platform for you to actually get, uh, get to market yourself. You can actually uh, get snatched by a better, better paying team even here locally as well. So for me, the inconsistency comes from uh, individual players not putting in uh, the amount of work that is needed for them to, to actually perform. Uh, yeah, yeah, economy, yes. People will say that uh, these players, they go out to hustle after training. Uh, but I, I've been in this, in this industry for, for quite some time. I, I see the demeanor. I will attend the training sessions of, uh, of some of the clubs. You can see that there is no zeal. There is no hunger. For, for success from, from some of the players. They take the they take football as a job to go and get paid at the end of the month, you know, for a paycheck. They don't take it as a career, they don't take it as something that can catapult them to to to, 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 to superstardom. Because if you want to be a superstar, you gotta have to work. So if you are not going to work and say you're going for training at nine o'clock and say you're going to hustle. So, no one hustles at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning, let's be honest. But those are the days some of us were actually training. We were training at five o'clock in the morning before I went to school. Before I went to school, five o'clock, school started at 7.30. By five o'clock, I was already on the pitch training. You know, some of the things that people saw things, shoot or doing, no HTM were doing, no many my are doing. It didn't just come from just appearing at training. No, those guys were working like really hard. They worked for, for, for what they achieved in, in football. I see the, the, the youngsters of today, they don't. You know, I think it's no concern, especially social media. There is so much negativity, so much talk. You need someone to feel dejected, to feel justified, not to work hard because of a lot of. Talk, you know, some of these talks. You've spoken is about so yourself, you've spoken about Stuart Morisa and all these names. Uh, um, your crop managed to make it in Europe. You talked about uh, um, at one time being in Slovakia, being in Poland, and then uh, ending your career in South Africa as well, where you, you paid, played for quite a number of teams consistently. But at the present moment of time, you look at the Premier Soccer League. Unoto shaya kutisaka ndi wapi wachenda abroad, ndi wapi wachenda south, ndi wapi wachenda ku Europe. Is that the major reason? Yekuti wapana, they're just simply not putting in the effort. Yeah, they're not. You see, when you look at a player like William Manondo, he should have just told, told himself that, you know what, I'm in a position where I can do it for myself. I think he should be 29, 30 now. You know, he still, he still has the opportunity to go out. To be players like James Matola, Thomas Sueswe, they left the country in their late 20s, 30s, in their early 30s. They still left the country uh, for greener pastures. Even uh, Tendai Ndoro, he left mm -hmm. uh, a bit late in his, in his life as well. So they, they, they don't really want to work for, 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 their, for, for their career. Uh, some of them, they are satisfied with, uh, with what they have right now. But uh, remember, he, you still need a life after football and a life after football doesn't just depend 
on the money that you saved. It depends on the name that you made. You know, it's about the name that you made that can actually, it's about indiv your indiv like investing in yourself, investing in your brand. It's about the name that you made for yourself that then can carry you into your life after football. I will give you an example of Ivan Gregorev. He made a name of, for himself in a very short time. But I'll tell you today, if you bring Ivan Gregorev... And saved in this, games, it's also yeah, like a if, if, yeah, if, in, if you bring him to this show today and ask him this question, this name is still working for him. Right now, as we speak, the name that he made in those seven games is still working for him today. You know, that, that's his currency. You see, so we forget that currency. We forget that way. when we are playing, as much as we are earning money, we are investing in our currency. You know, we are investing in that name, that brand that you are investing in. It's your currency for the future because it will work. Hakuna mare bora yego tino so uno so save ever ni mare waga save a bank yego for the rest of your life. Uno jingo uno kumza na kuita msoro pa ita. Msoro e ano kuita msoro. Not in not in this country. Not even in South Africa. I played in South Africa, I played in Zimbabwe, I know very well. Even in some of the countries like uh, Sweden, Denmark, what, what, you see the... the, the so the would you say it's a, it's a, it's a wrong perception of because often a time people are saying, you know, um, uh, Alois Bunjira, Ranotti, Nomen Mapeza, or whichever player, uh, Kutaka Tamba Bora for 15 years, but uh, uh, here they are, they are not living a lifestyle. Um, iri, iri, expected of someone someone that was a professional footballer what what are your thoughts with regards to this whole issue often, often at the time we've had some players uh some um unfortunately passing away and then we see these headlines saying uh, such and such a player was play, playing for these big teams in south africa but then they are gone now and um, they didn't manage to leave um, anything for their family yeah, exactly, exactly my point. You see, when you when they when you are playing for 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 a team in in Zimbabwe or for a team in South Africa, you know people assume that the, the, these players are earning a lot of money. Okay, let's say William Anondo is playing for Cape United. He's the top goal scorer. People think that he is getting a lot of money, but they're going for three months without getting paid. When he gets paid, what does he do? The money goes to bills, goes charity, and everything. Christmas year, January one, go nongo vafana vasi dori na mara vafana. For Christmas, Jeff, Jeff. We also think what after life, life after after football, I just, I just, I just, I just be sustainable after football. When for Christmas, Jeff, Jeff, I do it in a Maria, go take a Maria, get something. So those are the things that people. There are very few players. Let's you look at the player like Kama Billiard. Uh, those are Anana Itumele Kune. Those are high earners. They earn a lot of money that you can actually say you could, ah, that can be invested in in something. You know. But then, even if you don't have a financial advisor, you know, somebody, somebody, you know, invest. You can talk about invest. financial advisors. What you, does can, you can invest for our youngsters. Yeah, you can invest. You can invest today in a business that is not your portion, that is not your calling. And you know, you know, and also, invest. Some of these guys are not going to invest. They are going to invest. They are going to invest. Some went into the transport business, some some economies in Jagetica Migono, Wagayura, some of them are Jutwa Marie, Waganzi, Gatipi, say Maripakati, Tinga Gold, Tidese, Waganura. Not everyone has got their own story. You need to, to, to understand their story, you need to know their story first. But this umbrella thing, what he, ah, they didn't invest. It's, it's, it's not fair to a lot of people. People want to know that they are in South Africa. A lot of the players, in South Africa, they are not going to play as union to complain about, about the minimum wage. Because they know that there are a lot of players that are underpaid in South, in South Africa. You know, so when you go there in South Africa, you get a little bit of run, you convert it to RTGS. Yeah, it sounds like it's a lot of money. But at the end of the day, the cost of living there is also high and it's getting child. By the cost of living, by the time the player retires, comes back here, he has got he has got little. Or maybe you bought a house. Okay, let's say you invest in a in a nice house. It's it's not really an investment, to be honest. When you have got a nice house, you bought a, you got yourself a nice house. You are now staying in Bordeaux. That house still need to be maintained after you finish playing football. It's not giving you any money. It's not giving you any income. You are actually living in the house, so you actually need to pay bills to pay. 
for the house. You are actually maintaining your house. So the house is actually taking money. It's not, it's not even giving you money. Oh, so it's, it's not actually an investment. It's not a business. Thank you very much, Alice. You are watching a Football Digest. We'll just be going away for a short break. Join us shortly. Do you need a website? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let us craft your website using modern website design trends. Let your audience access your website from all devices for improved user experience. We'll help you grow your revenue, by helping you generate more leads and sales, through fully optimizing your website. Visit our website today, and request for a quote. We'll call you back. Welcome back to Football Digest, your favorite football show where we will take a look at what's happening on the local, regional and international football scene. Now, just uh, running down through the results of the weekend's uh, uh, encounters uh, played over the weekend, it ended uh, on Friday, he rentals no chicken in nil, Yada one, Cranbourne Bullets one, Blauayo City one, Dynamos nil, Ngezi Platinum nil, Black Rhinos nil, Wawa FC one, ZPC Kariba two. And on Sunday it ended Highlanders one, Blawayo Chiefs nil, Manika Diamonds two, Harra City nil, Triangle United four, Tenax nil, and uh, Caps United two, FC Platinum two. Now, Alois, uh, just having looked at the results of the weekend uh, matches, Dynamos losing to Blawayo City one nil. And there's been a lot of talk um, with regards to uh, Tondra Indiraya, the current uh, uh, Dynamos uh, FC head coach. Some fans saying that he's failed, regardless of the fact uh, that uh, uh, Dynamos have, have surpassed their previous position. Yes, there are a few matches still to play, but uh, me, me already judging him and, and saying that uh, uh, the leadership uh, should give him the boot. Uh, what are your thoughts with regards to uh, some of the sentiments coming through from uh, Dynamo's fans? Uh, I think I think the biggest problem with Dynamo's was the the start to the season. And that was actually their, their problem. They didn't really have the squad that I thought they could actually challenge for the championship. For me, the most the biggest disappointment is Chigenin. I actually thought Chigenin had the squad, they had the consistency, the experience, and the youngsters to actually uh, push SC Platinum to the wire. For, as for Dynamos, I think the results at the beginning, I think it, it created an expectation. You know, people started believing. They started believing, even the players. You know, I think it was in game week, week, week day 11, they, they were already, even the players talking about the championship, talking about the bonuses, they suspended the bonuses. You know, they suspended the bonuses saying, we'll give you the bonuses when we win the championship. Did, did, did you hear that? Did you hear that? When we win, even the exec, everybody, they actually thought it was a foregone conclusion. Maybe it was because FC Platinum were fortering at that time. You know, if FC Platinum were stuttering and they saw themselves 
you know, in a in a position. At the halfway stage, winning. Dynamo's were on top as well. Exactly. And like I said, that they they actually said how oh, we're suspending bonuses for every game. We we keep the bonuses, then we give you the bonuses when we win the league. You want to win, not if when <laughs> we win the league, then we give you the bonuses. So that kind of expectation is what killed them. So by the time FC Platinum started coming into the game and started doing well and started collecting points, that's when they started realizing that ah. Guys, we are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do Then he came back. Then he won a few games again. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. But to be honest, it needed someone who needed to analyze their game, their players, and the way they were, they were, the, the way they were playing. At the particular time, is this a championship winning team? That's the question that they want. They needed to ask themselves. You know, somebody was telling me when I was coming here on radio. Is it a matter of the quality yeah. of the players because Dynamo sport? Yeah. Uh, look, you see, uh, I'll answer that question. Quickly. Some of the top players yeah, in I'll, the PSL. I'll ask. I'll, ask you, I'll, I'll answer that question quickly. But uh, uh, somebody said uh, on radio that you know what. If you want to judge your maturity and your 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 probability, your possibility of progress in your life, it starts with the question that you ask yourself and how you respond to certain questions. So at that particular moment, I want to pick. Did they ask themselves a question? Do we have a championship winning team? The way we are playing, are we playing like a championship winning squad? For me, when I looked at that, I didn't see it. You know, it was it was uh, shooting in the dark. Like, but my results are going. At one time, the coach was actually on 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 air saying he doesn't care about playing pretty football as long as they're getting results. But that one was going to catch up at some point. I was, I said it on radio the other time that you know what what he said will catch up with him. Why? Because if the results are coming and you're not playing good football. It's okay. You get forgiven. People will be fine with it. They'll be like, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't have my results. But, but, you give out, you give out, you know, you take a bad page, and you are playing badly, and it's a bad page. It, it, everything falls away because the wheels fall off. Because why? Because now people don't have hope. You know, because you, you, the team is not playing well. There's, they're not getting results. So where are the results going to come from? But if the team is playing well, and it loses a few matches, People will still say, ah, but the, but we were on top of the game. We were dominating the match. People have got hope. You, you, they, they were still get, getting that. But then that, that time, I don't think they were playing. Okay, let's talk about um, what I just talked about in terms of the fans wanting <laughs> Stanza to go. <laughs> What's your opinion with regards to this whole situation? Uh, Should he be given more time? Or uh, what's your opinion? Uh, with regards to this, you see, uh, let me ask, answer your question about the top, the top players, top top players that that I'm assigned. Uh, who, which players? You've got an Amakanda, Akanda, they've got seasoned players, and uh, God knows Murira. The, the pre previous season, uh, King Nadolo had been doing well. Could tell one. Uh, they brought in quite a number of yes, questions. You're even struggling. <laughs> you're even struggling to give me Brought in answer. some youngsters. Uh, Tanaka Chidoba, a very talented <laughs> player. Brought in um, Sadiki, who was doing well at uh, Yada FC as well. They brought in Taimon Bula, top goalkeeper, Alois. <laughs> no, they didn't have a good squad, to be honest. You see, when you have a, when you have a, a club that signs 15 players at one goal in one window, then you have a big problem. There's a big, big problem, especially if the coach was actually there the previous season. Do you feel me? But the previous season, you were talking about lack of quality. Do you feel me? Yes. You were talking about lack of quality. Exactly. Exactly. So now we bring in 15 players, 16, 17 players into the fold, and some of the players that Nadolo was not playing, Tanaka Chidobo was not playing, uh, who? Who else? God knows, God, God knows Murwira was in and out of the squad. So 
which quality players are you talking about? The, the quality players you, tell, you talked about are not even featuring regularly in the team. So what I'm trying to say is the, the, the trajectory, there is no trajectory. Now, now I'm already answering your other, your other question. Should he go or not? I don't know. I'm not a Dynamo's fan. So I, I wouldn't know what the... the, the would the, it be the, fair, though, the, would the, it be the, fair though to judge him based on the current season? What, what should they judge him based on? Previous season... Um, what oh, they can, what, they what can, so they can they well, can, what, what they can judge him on this current season, but they can judge him on the previous season. They can judge him on the current saying? season, but yeah. then if you look at uh, where Dynamos are currently placed yeah. in relation to their previous seasons, there has been an improvement. Okay, see, see, you see what I'm looking at here. I'm not saying he should be fired. I'm not saying that. I'm being a football analyst here. So when you look at a team. Do you think the animals are on a trajectory that they will fight for the championship next season? Those are the, you remember the what I said about critical questions. That's when you where you look at where, where is the team going? Is there progress? Do we see progress from this season going into next season? Do we see progress, or do we see progress from the squad that was there last season? If we did, we improve not not just the position position on the log depends on a lot of things. It depends on a lot of things. It probably depends on chicken in foltering, dynamos failing, falling away, Caps United playing well, wayward, Highlanders also not doing. It, 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 it depends on a lot of things. You look at the individual squad. But from last season, are we, are we progressing? That's why when I, look, when I looked at FC Platinum, when I analyzed them, I see a club that is on the rise already. They are already winning the league. But already you can actually tell with the annex is in my one. And you look at Highlanders, you see the progress. You see where the club is going. You can actually see good team is for me, the most likely team to challenge for this for, for the championship next season is Highlanders. For me, when they're doing they're doing well on the field and administratively they're also doing well, and then they've got the fans to beg them. The average girls you might have Where do you put the platinum stars? In case the platinum, I don't know. To be honest, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. Where, where, where? They brought in a where, where, um, where to number of them. youngsters as well. Graduated them from the under nineteen side and uh, are currently on a seven game unbeaten run. Uh, I think they've gotten three draws, four victories in their last seven matches under Tekshwa Chirazi. They're a good side. They're a good side, but uh, things just happen. It gets, things just, can just fall off anytime. They need to build confidence. For, into us, the fans, we need to be confident. We need to see the consistency, not just on the field of play, consistency in a whole lot of things, so that we can actually see that there is progress. In you know, a situation, you go to the coach, you I win or three, four games, but I forgot about progress. Then the next thing you lose, two, three games, you get fired. Finally, we coach you. I, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of long term planning. I'm a big fan of long term planning. So when I see the direction. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of direction. I want to see. That's why I'm not happy with Capes United because I don't see direction. I don't see where they're going next year. I don't, I don't know if they're even going to uh, retain half of the players that they've got this year. I don't know. And you look at Dynamos. I don't see the direction. I don't know whether they, they, they're going to be challenging or not or whether some of the players go or they're staying. I don't know. I'm not sure. Probably we have uh, we're going to have a totally a wholesale, cha wholesale changes. And then I was new players all together. And my biggest problem is those new players that are coming, they are definitely not taking players from SC Platinum. They are not going to be taking any player, any top player from Chigenin. They are not going to be taking any player from Highlanders. They are not going to be taking any good player from Gezi Platinum. Where, where will they be getting their, 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 their players? When you, when you look at this situation, They'll be getting their players from where? I don't think they'll get players from, from here rentals either. So where, where are they getting their players? So when you look at that kind of situation right now, they need to put their house in order to start attracting players. The animals should be attracting the very players that are making FC Platinum win. Should actually, the animals should actually be going out to entice those kind of players. They should actually go into Highlanders to actually go and get the best player at, at Highlanders. Go and get the best player. But why not? It, why it, not? It, why it, not? It, nurture it, it your it own. You're, it, talking, it, you're talking about them going to FC Platinum and plucking out maybe one or two players that are doing well for the Platinum Miners. But what about Kupi? 
That's a good question. He, 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 they I'm, developed yeah, them. Some of them, they yeah. developed them. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, the at the, I'm looking at the model, at their model. I'm looking at their model, what can save them using their, their model that they created. This is, a, this is a pit they created for themselves. Because if it was FC Platinum, I would say they, they are grooming, they, they are promoting youngsters. And FC Platinum, even when they are taking players from other clubs, they are not taking, they are no more taking those big names from other clubs. Eh? They are now taking the young, the good young one. You see? So Dynamo for them, they, it's the model that they decided that they want to do. They want to poach players. Because I have a development side. They don't have. So if I, if, if I say uh, next year they must look into their development and get players, I'll be lying to myself because I'll be lying to the whole nation because they don't have. They don't have development players. So where are they going to get new players to boost their team? They will have to go out into the, the other clubs to push them because they can't. They can't even take players from Golden Eagles. For crying out loud, they won't push a player from Simba. Because the player would rather leave Dynamos and go to Simba at, the, at, the, at, this, at this moment in time. So it's the whole um, uh, what can I, ecosystem at Dynamos. They need to change the whole system that they, they have right now. They need long term planning. And it's that, you know, sometimes when you are the chairman or the executive secretary or whatever it is, if you don't have an ambition to actually see your club be the champions in five years' time, then there is a big, big problem. If you think, the love for the club, I want to set this foundation for this club so that in five years' time, I want this club to dominate Zimbabwean football in five years' time. If you don't have that ambition, then they, they must be, they must, they must be a problem. Because every year, the same thing, same thing without any planning. But if you look at the, the situation at Highlanders right now, one of these very, very, in this very near future, Islanders are bad. To be honest, right now, on Rutok Tower, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now. Guys, you can record this. Islanders are back. For a long time, they are back. Why? Because they are playing good football. They've got the fans. The administration is good. And the foundation is good. They've got very good junior structures, as we speak. They've got Boso 90. Some of the youngsters well that are playing right now. Well. Yes, the, the boys that are playing right now in the first team, they came from the Boso 90. The coach didn't sign any players. when he, Remember Brito when he arrived, he didn't sign any players. He focused on the players that were there and he went into Boso 90 and plugged the young, the young players there. Islanders are back. I'll tell you. FC Platinum the same way. The same thing. They're developing their own players and they're also poaching. You know, they're, they're poaching. They're poaching the good youngsters from these other clubs. One of, the players, one of the players mm. they happened to poach was uh, uh, one Motuza, who happened to be making the headlines uh, uh, last exactly. week. What, what are your thoughts with regards to the whole scenario whereby he rentals were saying that he's our player, we loaned him out to Dynamos and we're surprised uh, uh, to see him turning out for AFC Platinum? Uh, for me, I think the whole, the whole thing is a joke. It's a joke, to be honest, because number one, they should be, what, what was the communication between uh, a rent house and the player? That's the very uh, first point that you need. How did the player decide to walk from a Dynamos. long period, Dynamos, straight to FC Platinum? How did that happen? Didn't the player know that he had a contract with with the with the rentals. So number two, was that contract you told when he rent house the, the three year contract he actually EOA, EOA, was it recorded with the PSA? Was he registered with the PSA with that contract? Or it's a contract they signed in the office and put it under the under the file. That that's not gonna hold any water. Because I cannot sign you Franco today. No one to end the game to and I would roam a game hang and walk a hang and outrageous and I would tamba game hang you wouldn't go sign on what he is he's my player. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I think my labor, labor law in football will not, will, not, will not allow that. So for me, was he signed? So the whole year, this player was playing for FC Platinum. What was the PSO doing about it? How did the... Now, 
how was the player able to, to be registered with the PSL in the first place? Because there is a system. At school, at school, I register. I will go to register. I will not 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 register. I will If a player is coming from another club, system rejects that. You cannot have a contract that, that is overlapping another contract in the system. So if FC Platinum signed this player and then registered him on their contract when there is an ongoing contract that is there. Because the moment the loan period expired from with Dynamo, the original contract was supposed to kick in here. What was only needed for the player when coming back to a rent house was Dynamo's issuing a clearance to a rent house. Now, did the renters ask for a clearance from Dynamos to get their player back? Who asked for the clearance from Dynamos? Because Dynamos are within their right to issue a clearance to a, to a team that has produced a contract that is asking for the clearance for the player. So they are supposed to issue the clearance to the team that is asking for the clearance with the contract. They show, we have signed this player, can we also have the... I don't know what the system does, how the system works. With the, with, within, uh, within, 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 There's within, a lot within, of talk within, about within FIFA Zimbabwe. Connect and yeah, uh, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. That when when I'm asking for a clearance, when I'm this is that's how I, I think the, sh the system should work. If I if Dynamo is asking for Mtuza's clearance, they ask for the clearance from Zifa. Could we have signed Mutuza? Can we have his clearance from Dynamo? Then Zifa goes to Dynamos and said, we have got FC Platinum here asking for a clearance from Tudza. Can we have his clearance? The clearance goes from Dynamos to Zifa and Zifa to FC Platinum. Because Zifa to a central point. Just like international, trans international transfer. When your son goes to 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 Manchester, po, to, United. to Manchester United, yes. When your son goes to Manchester United, when Manchester United wants a clearance, they don't they don't ask Zim Sokanet Football Club for the clearance. They send the request for a clearance and transfer certificate from Zifa. Zifa then says to Zim Sokanet, we have got Manchester United here. They said they have signed your player. Do you know this team, you know, Manchester United? Zim Sokanet just ah, yes, Ato Silana. It's okay. He processes it. Player. Yes. Then Zifa sends the international transfer certificate. You, well, you, you Alice, unfortunately, I'm... we've uh, run out of time in our second segment. You are watching a Football Digest. Join us shortly.
Welcome back to Football Digest, where we we're just having some interesting uh, conversations uh, with uh, uh, former Caps United uh, Darren T. Sundowns uh, player, that's uh, Alois uh, Bunjira. And uh, Alois, at the weekend, there was a big game. Rufaro Stadium, Axis Solutions, uh, Super 8 Cup final, pitting Golden Eagles and Simba Bora. Golden Eagles managing to get a measure of consolation overcoming Simba Bora 2-0. Yeah, I think that was a good match uh, for me. Uh, quality, quality football, especially from Golden Eagles. You know, they, uh, they played good football that is good to the eye. You could actually enjoy. Uh, you know, one would think that they are Premier League side. You know, watching, watching them play, you can see that everything was, was in order. And it was befitting that they won that match because they clearly dominated. The match, but uh, overall, I think uh, the the whole match, even Simba played well as well in pitches, and I think I think uh, it was a, a good a good cup final uh, worth watching at the end of the day. And then just uh, looking at uh, <coughs> Golden Eagles' uh, prospects, yes, they missed out on promotion this season. Um, how would you rate their uh, prospects of uh, perhaps again challenging for promotion next season? Obviously, 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 they will be. Uh, they'll be challenging uh, for the championship. They're a good side. They were challenging this season, and they've got a very young squad. When you look at their players, some of them are 21, 20, uh, 23, 24. They're very, they're very young. They're still developing. So if they keep faith in the players and uh, just boast of the squad here and there, I, I believe that they, they've got a chance to actually challenge for, for, the, for the championship. Unfortunately, uh, the unfortunate part really uh, is the northern region. The northern region is very competitive. You know, it's very competitive, and uh, uh, there's uh, there's a whole lot that happens in the uh, in the in the in the northern northern region uh, uh, division one. So it's not easy to come out of there. You know, it's not easy. But they they gave it a good go. They challenged, and I'm sure that they will uh, they will challenge again. You saw them playing in the cup final. That they're a good side. They beat a team that actually got promoted from their division, and they they pl they played against them uh, in in the league. So. I think that they have a team uh, that can uh, that can uh, qualify for 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 the Premier League. They're good enough. And well. Alois, how much effect, uh, of a factor <coughs> was the um, reshuffle within the technical team department? Uh, Joe Lupatla and um, uh, his assistant that uh, that's Elliot Matsika having to make way for uh, Gilbert Mshanga Zike as well as um, uh, the current assistant coach, that's uh, Philip Stolle. Um, how much did that destabilize the squad, considering the fact that uh, at the stage at which uh, Lupatla was let go, um, Golden Eagles were still very strong contenders? Yeah, but uh, I think they finished the season still contenders. They only, I think, they dropped out with the last two, three games. Uh, that's when they dropped out. For me, the change didn't really uh, affect the team because for me, I saw the team. They just carried on from where Lupasha had left. Because uh, from my understanding, he was not, he was not. Uh, uh, they didn't part ways because of bad results. You know, I think there was something else that that happened. Definitely, it wasn't about the low position. At the, at the time, they were still they were still in it, although it was at the beginning of the season. But when Gilbert Mshagashige took over, I saw a team that carried on playing good football, uh, that uh, carried on fighting, stayed in the top three. They never really went out of the top four, you know, to be honest. So they maintained the pressure, they maintained play. At one time, they did, they, did, they did an advantage of winning uh, the game in the end to go tops, but they drew the match, you know. So for me, I, d I don't think that it really affected, uh, affected the team because they carried on. Uh, playing, Do you believe that uh, Gilbert has the pedigree to go on and uh, win the uh, Northern Region Division One title in the um, coming seasons? I think so. I think so. You know, when you look at the way the team plays, you can actually believe and see that the team is uh, being coached well. You know, they do everything very well. The build up, uh, the combination play, the attacking flair, the crosses, the technique. And, you know, uh, the movement. You, you, even when they lose the ball, the way they press and everything, you can actually see that this is a team that is being well coached. So for me, I think here's what it takes. You know, here's what it takes to actually uh, progress. But I'm not saying he's the best coach. Obviously, he's still learning. Uh, he's still he's also uh, like uh, like a lot of other young coaches waiting for the cafe 
uh, CAF A coach that is another development and obviously he can still develop himself as a coach you know he still has uh, a lot of years uh, 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 behind him so he can still develop himself but as we as we see how the team is playing how he has coached the team so far I think he's uh, he's a very good coach with uh, with potential he did not been for the for the blockade you know by the calf, calf A issues and all I think probably by now he could have advanced his knowledge of the game probably he could have been coaching a, a Premier League squad at, at this moment in time you never know where he could be but he, I don't doubt his, uh, his ability at all because when I see the team plays I can see that this team is well coached. Let's talk a bit about Simba Bora. Um, do you think they'll be able to stand the heat in the top <coughs> flight? Uh, um, a lot has been said about uh, uh, the number of experienced players that they managed to acquire. You've got the uh, Ronald Chiktios, um in that squad. You also have um, Ali Sadiq in that squad. Uh, Hard life to take as well. You, you know, um, I don't know what model. I don't know what model they're going to use uh, in the Premier League, to be honest. But if, if the squad that I... They believe in experience. Yeah, if I... If I, if I yeah, okay, I'll, I'll come back to that. If I, if I see the squad that they played against Golden Eagles, uh, they need to strengthen the squad. They, 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 if they go into the Premier League with that squad, they will struggle. Because, to be honest, they didn't really play well. Uh, against the Golden Eagles, and you can, I could actually, I could actually feel there's a lot of individualistic approach to the game, you know, rather than team cohesion, you know. So for me, I think they they've got some work, they've got some work to do uh, to to bolster their squad and their system, the way they play and everything to to actually. Um, maintain their position in the in the in the league they 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 they, they, they still need some work to do coming to their model i i don't know i i feel that they are going to do the same model as now which has been adopted by dynamos which was adopted by caps united i don't know where these guys are getting this model this model from to be honest i don't know where they're getting it from it doesn't work i'm i'm telling i'm telling you right now it doesn't work you see Simba Bora, when he comes into the, into the Premier Soccer League, I think he should have the ambition to grow the team. You get it? Not the ambition to be successful, but the ambition to grow the team. The potential of that club is huge. Why? I've watched their games in Shamba. The support that they get from the community of that province is out of this world. He, the, the club is loved there, which is a, a beginning. And then when you look at the catchment area of the whole province, they've got this potential to actually recruit all the best youngsters in that, in that province. And better still, they actually have the facilities. They've got boarding houses, they've got the clubhouse, they've got all the facilities there to actually think long term by long term is now starting to recruit youngsters and have their academy on point that way he will develop that club into a big household name in the country that can rival teams like Capes United Dynamos Islanders as far as fan base is concerned there's, there's no doubt about it plus pangorino uma uma we wish as nema neutrals i don't go if i read a team here and of our rare i saw i watched the game some of their games wrote here and again singa fan big again in my games so that that's what that's the best that he needs to create that team from so that administratively it has to be sound queen so it is such a professional he has got the potential to actually have that team run in such a professional setup that he can now start being a feeder to some of these teams manula utenga tenga yawa imi muno sara mwine ma players enyano gona bora wangu mchito tenga wachito wa tenga sera wachiti tora yu tora yu wachiti sa umaloni wachita say at the same time they have got the potential to actually make money because my players do my assets so he needs to start building the assets of the club. Legutengi some players to Europe, to South Africa. It's possible. We are just not grooming the players. 
to fun what is my players am not players and when someone in Europe was mentioned I'm on it's because we are not grooming them and I come back a groom of fun in an SC and I know like those guys were groomed and I'm a show me and I know we go and we go I got the I got the Chinese go are united SC academy those boys were groomed that's why you saw them there what where they reach but suddenly no club wants to do it maybe FC Platinum and Islanders are going back to that but Simba Bora has got the opportunity to actually start doing it. You know, by so doing, by recruiting these players from these provinces, you, where they come from, they come with their fans. If a youngster is coming from Bindura, he is going to come with their fans. Bindura, imagine Mpana, no Zikano, Bindura, this is Diaga Penga. When you talk about a player. When you talk about a player, you talk about a game, you talk about a game. So by that province, you talk about a game, you talk about a game, you talk about a game, sold out. But if he makes the mistake of doing this model of chasing success, like now without long term goals, on it in and out. So I can go to an sure one is it. On the in and out, you get you, you get you get in, you have your dance, and you go back. And we don't want such a team. I've always advocated Kuti, my teams are well resourced, should stay in the league. I want, I want the team to get into the league and stay in there. And to, for him to stay in there, he needs a long-term plan for the team that is very sustainable so that he can stay long and grow as a brand, as a team, grow in the league so that we have able teams in the league. Different teams are not struggling financially in the league. As much as to, to them, team, as many teams as we can, when you are financially stable, very are financially able to get into the Premier League. I'm happy Shisham is also coming in, very uh, financially stable team as well. Well done. You know, those are the teams. We want them in. So, th so he has got the opportunity. But I can tell you, what is what you success, success of Atora, this big coach, these big players, of our own needs, of better say, and what's wrong with one bounce? You, you, can, you can have maybe one, one good season, then bounce back. But we don't want that for Simba. Alves, we spoke about the Axis Solution Super 8 uh, Cup Final being a big game. In, in the top flight league this weekend, we've got a big game, Highlanders versus Dynamos. But it seems as though <laughs> there isn't much hype surrounding this big game. A lot has been said about the Soweto Derby tickets having been sold out. But here we have the Highlanders versus Dynamos encounter. And it seems as though uh, there's not much hype around this game. You see, Francis, uh, we have got people, a lot of them in Zimbabwe, that have uh, hyped up the economic problems in the country, that they've put it at a level where it has made a lot of people lazy. And it has made a lot of people hide their ineptitudes because of the economy. They are hiding their inability to do things because of the economy they hide. We, we are at a point whereby anyone who fails to do what they are supposed to do, they will blame the economy. That's what we have done. What you have just said has got nothing to do with the economy. Hyping up a game. This is dynamos. This is the biggest t club football in the country for many years. And Senator Musangana is advert. Even if radio, I work for a radio station. We have a voice note because the guys talk about play on air on your show. Could guys go game? This is what we this is what a sports show is all about. We are there to inform about what is happening in sport in Zimbabwe. But uh, it, it, we take it upon ourselves. These guys are sitting on the job. They are sitting on the job. Where is the marketing department when we, uh, we haven't heard on radio, in the newspaper about this? fixed We all we saw is a fixture. There's no hyping on radio, no hyping in the newspapers, not even my activations, nothing. But look at the Soweto Derby. I started reading about the Soweto Derby, talking about the Soweto Derby about a month and a half ago. 
we were, as a radio station, we were actually supposed to go for this derby. We were planning to actually go from Zimbabwe. We knew about this date, the Soweto derby, but we didn't know about this date, about the Highlanders versus the animals. Because for, for Soweto derby, they keep on reminding you, they keep on telling Is it, is it the PSL? Is it the PSL? Is it Dynamos? Is it Highlanders? Who do you pin the blame on? The clubs and the, the PSL and the clubs, but the, the clubs are under the PSL. The PSO are the ones that are supposed to work with the clubs, push. The PSO is there. So you work with the clubs. Guys, do you remember? Our derby is Mzokati. Because we are going to out of it. It's, it's, it's their business. Good guys, even Islanders is supposed to hype up this match. Because Ravo or return, we want to return leg. Hype it, hype, hype it up as well. One to Good guys, we want to make this big. Because the more the game is bigger, the beneficial it is to both clubs and to the PSL, even to Ziva. Ziva should be taking part in this game. Good guys, let's hype this game. This because this game is actually some is the window to Zimbabwean football. This is an advert. To, to Zimbabwean football. Right now it's going to be on ZTN. This is the giant national sports stadium. They call it giant. The atmosphere doesn't tell a good story. It doesn't tell a good story. It's going to mean a lot of empty seats. So Some have been talking about the price structure. Uh, $3 for rest nah. of what are your thoughts? You see, those are the economic issues, economic excuses that people have been talking about. Now, if this game can arise now, Zara, but much at the economy, but we know that this game was not marketed. Go say say this at game irori, my tickets such a thing one at twelve. Munacho yani begri, my tickets in at twelve midday. Kutanga kwenye sabu maged. Kuti my tickets fitanga bara bara, my tickets in at twelve umso game. But so weto dabi, I got to take my dara my tickets. I think it's going to be my tickets. So weto dabi. I could buy a ticket in the comfort of my own home. I buy the ticket. No fan that thing. Ah, we never know how to do. Ah, they didn't even they didn't take it. Mukato waka chuno ji te uji panja ticket uji uji zenga ticket online. And rogo endo. Magute na muri three. Magute tenga ma ticket zenga muri three. Muri gu ten. Koko basa muna. Magute tenga koko basa. Jito taora ba lunch pepe kuda guys. Dugu endo guri so eto tabi. Dugu 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 tenga ticket. Pa phone pa kiti dugu tenga ticket. What about the other workmates? Ah, rogo rogo tenga koko ndani ndani na mare. Dudu dasha ndu tenga rondo sukupa mandeni. I just want to get a ticket to Superman then. I just want to ticket to Superman then. You get what I mean? So it it helps. Come when I go to get a grocery, I get more pick and pay. I go to the house, I go to the zoo. No, for what you can, you ticket, you make ticket, say, "Bora, I go to get a Superman." We should go to get a we should go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo, I go to the zoo. Wakuto tenge saka ba nuka nasi na uzo zara manj ba nuaku mani ra kuti economy economy three dollars but you look at Islanders gani ruk blawa inga kuru zara wan Islanders kuna economy ruk different ne ne ku arare but you zinu kuba Islanders zuru kuna kiza zuru when things are good things but I still believe that we are not doing enough ba nuka ningu wari ku problemi ya dunte kuti zoe su su ba numunum Zimbabwe we we associate football with poverty. That's the biggest problem. We associate football with the poor. We think football is the poor man's sport. That's a, that's a poor man's mindset that we associate with, the, with, with, with football. That we think when I Bora is that person asking to go for a dollar. Dear one, dear one, dear one, soccer fan. When I want to go to soccer fan, is asking to go for the board. I'll tell you a story. It's so not $3, dollars zero, right? It should be higher. Three dollars zero. No, I'm just saying, it's poor at Ilipo, but kuzo wewe chini zo yaka wanda, wewe chini ziva kuti, le hinda kana chini ziva ini, let's be honest, ngeli yini, Franco, nika ziva ini in three weeks time, rato hype kwa three weeks, ako three in three weeks time, kuto kwenye bora, guys, imurume mkuru, arata kwenye bora, shuma shuma shuma, nika ta zekureza three dollars, ne two dollars, e transport, dollar kwenye dollar kuzok. Because my leaves are 50 cents, my subway is 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, 2 dollars, 5 dollars. When you're already so in the moment, you say, oh, I'm going to go to the biggest match in Zimbabwe in football. I'm going to raise 5 dollars in one month. When you say, what is the economic problem? How many economy ideas are you going to go to the bank? I'm going to go to the bank. That's why I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the example. My soccer fans, who are my CEO in my companies? They are going to go to the bank. 
Masoka fans are going to my team. These are these are football fans. Vanu vani mari vari. Strong caps United support. Vanu vani mari vari ko. Avasku ya bora because we are not enticing them to come to watch football. Isu zutrungo fungo adi bora no farago ni wani the poor person. Those are not going to fungo. Those are going to see wiza ma pagadi si si masi mu 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 ma mu ma mu ma stadiumu because the true fungo is a waste of money. But ah those are a poor man. I go also gara baka come for in in the come for two misra a poor man so far go ground because I just go try go enter. I go to go no farago ya vanu vani mari bora. Vanu vani mari varu prefer go no no na EPA go so go 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 centurion varu go na ku mashwele varu go na do go go na vanu vani mari vanu vani mari varu go na ku sun seed. So we do dab like I told you. Talking about that Soweto Dabi, one of the players on Ngoga Tarisirwani Mazimbabweans is uh, Kama Biliat, who happened to uh, make his comeback in their last encounter, in case the Chiefs' last encounter. Now, there seems to be an agenda always around <coughs> Kama Biliat. Once again, we've heard. Uh, uh, my critiques, I start to you know, Kama Bilit has not uh, uh, performed up to expectations who case achieves. He doesn't deserve to be earning the amount of money he's earning who Amakosi. What are your thoughts with regards to this agenda? Um, uh, uh, come to the fore. It's not the first time this has uh, like come out. Kunzi, people are saying, you know, uh, Kama Bilit is not performing uh, when we're looking at uh, what he's earning. Like you said, it's an agenda. This agenda started as soon as you were signed at, at Sundown, at, uh, at Kesa Chiefs, and was the highest earner. No, it used to be Tumelin Kune, and he overtook him as the highest earner, and he became the highest paid player in South Africa. And he's not South African. You know, South African, but they would deny it, whatever, but he has xenophobic attitudes. Carry embedded in a lot of in a lot of them. Just Did you ever experience that? Just because, uh, not really. No, 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 not me. I didn't. But it's something that I observed. But he directly, even when I come out, they won't. The directly, and my friends are giving what 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 correct. Single story bo, single story bo. Maybe it's because of uh, oh, I didn't play for for that for 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 either Orlando Pirates or Kesa Chiefs or something, but I didn't see it. But uh, the problem is, the Zimbabweans that played for these clubs, they have always been in the sea. In the, in the sea. They were in the middle. So now Kama went right at the top. So uh, there was an agenda. He was being fought by a lot of forces. They could argue with people. We marry a wanda, I'm foreigner. Jani jani. We are not just here. If we are going to go to the super sport, we are going to go to the super sport. We are going to go to the super sport. A, a, a Zimbabwean to go there. If you notice, good Zimbabweans only go can I go Afcon, World Cup. That's when you see my foreign, my foreign, pandits. my foreign pundits, my former footballers, foreign pundits. But you eat. But when born, I'm former former footballer, I'm foreign. But you go back to Zara, I'm Roger Fitumba, I'm not such a child. I'm not. Where's my players? My foreign best players. I got them from South Africa. But since you watch your team, I'm not into it. But when born, I'm from SABC. Super Sport, Wajita, Panditrie, my local games. They don't. Because Paturinika issue Kachika, who go to a Gorawisa Mundu, Mfore Nigerian, you know, the Nyan, you know, the Rosio, to the Muizre, Masako, do whatever, whatever. Saka Kuna come and Bob and Dunya Runes, I would say. He has been playing well, Fungi, but even Wagata Utanga Gutiso, Wagata Tora Maria, Chone, and Grini, they wanted him to be like Holland. He was supposed to be scoring two goals in every game. Mm. He was not even supposed to be injured because he's getting a lot of money. You can't be injured. Kama has been injured a lot of times, Kukes the Chiefs as well. But they didn't want that. He, he, because you're earning 800,000 rands a month, you are not supposed to be injured. You must no. just play and, and you must be scoring the tricks every game. It can't happen. He has, been, he has, he has, he has done well. Well, Alois, unfortunately, time has run out. Uh, thank you very much uh, for taking your time as usual, um, to come down uh, on Football Digest and just analyze issues. To go on a cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> qualifying for the Super yeah. 12. Yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was exciting for Zimbabwe to qualify, you know, uh, for, for those that uh, don't really follow cricket. It's a big issue. People who look at the issue, South Africa, which you want South Africa almost losing. Yeah, it's like lucky, but we're still in the group, in the, in the group stage, in with the chance. But it's like a pin, I'm super 12. 
the good thing about super 12 it means good at that time is my qualifiers go blow as we want what for the next world cup takutongwe na tato mu world cup mu next world cup titorimo takatopi na super 12 saka next world cup titori go at that time my qualifiers saka titori tato my big boys consolation consolation at my warriors that was kutamba mm-hmm. ndo consolation yakoga exactly now you bring the warriors i was discussing imagine this jazz we are supposed to have to synchronize these sports rugby football basketball cricket we are supposed to wear the same jersey home tea, home, home jersey away jersey you know what pane green pane red up away jersey red, red we choose we do like pane green up imagine they are green green and yellow takuta home game home, home kit iri tese tipeka so zvinongoita argentina you see argentina even the rugby team they wear the same they wear the same well unfortunately the time has run out Thanos <laughs> thank you very much for joining us uh, well that does it for this week's edition of football digest from myself Francis Nyamtsamba our analyst Alois Bunjira and the crew behind the scenes thank you for watching